Mr. Weber, thank you very much for joining us, for joining Athens News Agency, the official agency of Greece. In uh, 70 days, we shall have European elections. Many analysts believe that uh, they are too crucial. Do you share this uh, estimation? Well, from the, from the topics which are really important for the European elections, I see also two main topics. And the one is the crisis, growth, jobs, economic situation in the European Union. And the second question is migration, illegal migration especially. And we have to tackle both things and we have to give answers. And the people should decide whether they trust in socialists or they trust in, 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 in Christian Democrats and in EPP. Uh, Germany has a very crucial role to play in this uh a period in, in this session also of uh, European Parliament. But I think that there are a lot of uh, anti-German sentiments all over Europe. Why? Can you explain that? Well, perhaps you, you're surprised when I say to you that, first of all, I would say for the European elections, exactly. it's not a question of national responsibility, because socialists have in Germany a totally different approach, exactly. like EPP uh, in Germany. Uh, in Italy we have EPP approach and socialist approach. So it's all over Europe the same. You have to decide, the voters have to decide whether they want to have an EPP governed, lead it, uh, government uh, or a socialist governed uh, Europe. And I must frankly say the past the history showed very clear that especially those member states who are governed by socialists mm -hmm. are in a big trouble, a big crisis. So I'm defending very strongly not a national approach, I'm defending very strongly an EPP, a political approach. The people should decide. And, uh, and the future of Europe, frankly speaking and really directly speaking, should not be decided in Berlin. The future of Europe should be decided by the voters of the European All Union in Europe. the European elections. So please participate and please vote for an EPP approach for the future of Europe. Uh, German has to play a very important role. It's a locomotive of uh, European uh, Union. Uh, I suppose that uh, Germany has a lot uh, many, many things to do vis-à-vis uh, -vis Greece, for example. Uh, after four years of memorandums, etc., uh, Germany will help again Greece to overcome their problems. Well, we had a deep crisis. And especially when we look to Greece, everybody sees the crisis and everybody must understand that it is a common challenge. It's not a challenge only for Greece. There is a big responsibility in Athens, everybody knows, and I think the current government is uh, doing a great job. But there is also a European responsibility to solve now the, the, the outcome of the crisis, mm -hmm. the results of this deep crisis. And therefore the next five years, the biggest challenge and the headline for all the EPP proposals is growth and jobs. We need growth and jobs for the European Union. And there is on the one hand the responsibility of the national head uh, uh, capitals to, to undertake all the steps to, to, to start growth, to, 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 to take away burdens about bureaucracy and so on, and to, to, to let's start our economy. And on the other hand, we need the European solidarity, European help with funds, with money, with, uh, with uh, help for, for enterprises, with help for, for the society, to, uh, for the... Um, um, uh, ent enterprises Enterprise. to find new, new technologies, new ideas uh, and so on. This is a starting point for growth inside of the European Union and Europe has to help uh, uh, Greece, others as well, Cyprus mm -hmm. and others as well, but especially Greece. As you said, uh, there are 30 million jobless people in uh, Europe. That's, that's for us the main problem. Are there any uh, programs, is there any real solution to this uh, huge problem? Well, first of all, you see all over Europe and, and, and all over the world that in these regions, in these countries where the budget and the state is sta stable and, and is working in a proper way, you have investments, you have trust in the future, you have growth. And that's the job from the capitals to do.